Betrayal. The act of betraying someone or something. A breach of trust. The break-in or violation of a presumptive contract. Trust or confidence. This is Majesty Sussex Report. I'm Antonio. This is a special edition of Dossier. In the annals of family history, few stories are as heart-wrenching and publicly scrutinized as the betrayal of Meghan Markle by her father, Thomas Markle. This tale of familial treachery unfolds against the backdrop of one of the most anticipated royal weddings in recent memory, casting a long shadow over what should have been a joyous occasion. Thomas Markle's actions in the lead up to his daughter's wedding to Prince Harry and his subsequent behavior serves as a stark example of how deeply a parent can wound their child. At a time when Meghan was most vulnerable, stepping into the global spotlight and joining one of the most famous and recognizable families on the world. Her father chose to prioritize personal gain and media attention over his daughter's well-being and privacy. His betrayal was not a single act, but a series of calculated decisions that continue to this day. From staging paparazzi photos for profit, to share in private correspondence with tabloids. Thomas Markle has repeatedly violated his daughter's trust and exposed her to public ridicule and scrutiny. His actions have not only stained their relationship to the breaking point, but have also provided father for a relentless media machine that seems intended to tear Megan down. In this dossier, we will explore the depth of this betrayal, examining how a father's actions can elicit lasting damage on his child. We will delve into the psychological impact of such a public betrayal, the role of the media in exacerbating family tensions, and the broader implications for trust and loyalty within families in the age of social media and 24-7 news cycle. The story of Megan and Thomas Markle serves as a cautionary tale, highlighting the devastating consequences when parental love and protection are sacrificed on the altar of fame and financial gain. It raises profound questions about the nature of family bonds, the price of fame, and the lengths to which some will go to remain in the public eye, even at the cost of their own flesh and blood.
Thomas Markle's decision to stage paparazzi photos just days before Meghan Markle's wedding to Prince Harry was a significant breach of trust. This act not only embarrassed Meghan, but also exposed her to intense media scrutiny. Despite Meghan and Harry's efforts to protect him from the press, Thomas continued to engage with the media, exacerbating the situation. Meghan's legal team has argued that the media, particularly the Mail on Sunday, played a crucial role in manipulating Thomas and causing the rift between him and Meghan. Thomas has repeatedly criticized Meghan and the royal family in the media. His public statements have often been negative and hurtful, contributing to the estrangement. For instance, he has suggested that Meghan owes him and has continued to accept money for media appearances, further damaging their relationship. This public airing of grievances has been seen as a betrayal by Megan, who values her privacy and has care tried to maintain a dignified silence. Thomas's decision to share excerpts of a private letter from Megan with the Mail on Sunday was a significant breach of privacy. This act was not only a personal betrayal, but also a legal issue. As Megan successfully sued the publication for breach of privacy and copyright, Thomas's actions in this regard have been seen as self-serving and damaging to Megan's reputation. The ongoing public drama and negative comments from Thomas have caused significant emotional distress for Megan. The constant media attention and public scrutiny have likely taken a toll on her mental health, contributing to her decision to cut off communication with her father. Megan's attempts to reconcile privately were undermined by Thomas's continued engagement with the press, making it difficult for her to trust him. Megan's half-siblings, particularly Samantha Markle, has also engaged with the media to publicly criticize and humiliate Megan. Samantha has written a book and given numerous interviews where she has made disparaging remarks about Megan. This behavior has been seen as opportunist, opportunistic and damaging contributing to the negative narrative surrounding Megan. Megan's half-siblings have lived irregular lives with instances of, let's call them legal troubles and personal issues. Despite this, the British media has elevated their voices often giving them a platform to criticize Megan. This elevation is seen as part of a broader media strategy to undermine Megan, who, by the way, once again, is a black biracial person. So they undermine Megan while promoting her white half-siblings with dubious backgrounds, legal issues, 
and others that we shall not mention. The media's focus on their negative comments serves to reinforce harmful stereotypes and biases. The British media has been complicit in perpetrating a negative narrative about Meghan, often using racially charged language and stereotypes. Meghan, as the first black biracial member of the royal family of the UK, has faced disproportionate scrutiny and criticism compared to other royals. The media's focus on her race and background has contributed to a hostile environment where even her charitable and philanthropic efforts are overshadowed by negative coverage. The media has manipulated and exploited Thomas Markle and Megan's half-siblings to create sensational stories by paying them for interviews and encouraging them to speak out against Megan, the media has fueled the family feud and used it to generate headlines. This manipulation has not only harmed Megan, but also strained her relationships with her family members. The media's coverage of Megan and her family has been largely one-sided, focusing on negative stories and ignoring the broader context. For instance, the media has not even given equal attention to the numerous online accounts that spread hateful rhetoric about Meghan and Harry. This selective reporting creates a biased narrative that unfairly targets Megan while ignoring the actions of those who propagate lies and conspiracy theories about her. Prince Harry's legal battles with the UK media highlight the broader issue of media bias and unethical practices. Harry has sued several British tabloids for their intrusive and defamatory coverage, seeking to hold them accountable for their actions. But they would tell you otherwise. The media's negative portrayal of Megan can be seen as part of a broader strategy to undermine Harry's efforts and discredit the couple. By focusing on negative stories and amplifying the voices of Megan's estranged family members, the media seeks to justify its coverage and deflect attention from its own unethical practices. Thomas Markle's behavior, influenced by media manipulation, and personal grievances has significantly strained his relationship with his daughter, Megan. His public criticism, breach of privacy, and engagement with the press have caused emotional distress and contributed to their estrangement. Similarly, Megan's half siblings have engaged in a public humiliation and media exploitation for the damaging her reputation. The British media has played a central role in perpetrating a negative narrative about Meghan, using racially charged language and selective reporting to undermine her. This bias coverage has not only harmed Megan, but also highlighted broader issues of media ethics and accountability. Prince Harry's legal battles 
where the media underscores the need for greater scrutiny and reform in how the press covers public figures, particularly those from marginalized backgrounds. Thank you.